Hey, Dan Chenard at Thea Flock here again. We're out here in Peoria. This is a big house we're doing for a doctor out here. This is 18,000 square feet. There's the main house, there's a guest house, and there's an RV garage in the back. Um, I was going to say this is day one. It really isn't day one. We're just delivering the block right now. They're going to be pouring the footings on, on the front here on the main house, and uh, we'll be laying block tomorrow. It's like 10,800 square feet of block being delivered for this house and garage and guest house. Yeah, this is some real quality concrete work. They'll be pouring these footings today. It's very important to get that rebar layout right. It can really, really make your job difficult or more easy. Depending on uh, if they got the rebar on centers. This is really, really looking good. They got the stem done on the whole house here. And uh, they're working on the RV garage and the guest house right now. This is the RV garage here. They threw that down in about 20 minutes, actually, 15. It's the home theater here. We use the uh, EF lock for the interior partitions there because of the soundproof. So, so Carlos, Carlos, this isn't your first rodeo, is it? I think so. How no, I don't think so. How many, how many years you've been doing this? Since 1993, 94. Wow. And what do you do? You set all the block there and you plumb each end and then run a string, huh? That's correct, yeah. All right. Looking good, Carlos. You guys are, are taking names and kicking booty out here. Thanks. We'll learn for you then. Well, thank you, Carlos. Well, that's a wrap out here for day two. Uh, again, you guys know the ropes. You like this video, please share it. Uh, you can go to efblock.com. You can go to EF Block YouTube. We got all kinds of videos out there. Remember, recycle, reuse, and repurpose.